Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday, July the 15th Cemeteries Committee. Um, could I start off with a declarations of any disposable pecuniary interest, please? Thank you. None. Uh, could I have apologies for absence, please? Councillor Crawford, Chair. Okay. And now to confirm the minutes of the committee meeting held on the 16th of June, which was received by full council on the 30th of June, and accept it as a true record. Have you all got a copy? You've all read it? Mm -hmm. Satisfied? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So moving on, actions from the previous meeting to, do, to receive update. Decisions required to note update to approve any further actions. Um, lead cemetery officer which is Kerry. Um, so Kerry's away uh, this week. Um, so if we move down the items from the previous meeting that's on the screen, um, and we'll probably hopefully between Nick and I take, take these. So in terms of chasing up the contractors for um, the start date on the work yard, um, they've been down, we've had a meeting. In fact, um, Councillor Harvey was with us. That was a few weeks back, I'll, I'll be honest with you. But we've um, we've been talking to him about um, how you're taking down the garage uh, and there's issues with uh, asbestos in, in the in the roof cladding. I think Nick, we've had some notifications now that yeah. they're ready to to okay. start the dismantling of the garage and uh, and the safe uh, disposal of the asbestos. Um, so hopefully in the next couple of weeks we shall see a start on that, and then we can get the tarmacking of the area. Um, sorted the electrics etc which will improve the welfare facilities there um, but uh, you know Nick's, Nick's on it he's yeah. um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's moving forward and it will be done hopefully by well certainly we'll have a more positive outcome uh, for the September meeting and fingers crossed it could, could well be done by then so that's that's that one um, meeting on site with review of headstones, Nick? Yeah, okay, so basically we had a little walk around on the cemetery um, and we was lucky enough that Brenda and Jenny both attended and um, we had a little sort of walk about and we looked at the failed memorials. Can you just uh, yeah. ask when that happened because I don't think I heard anything about it. That was about a week ago, um, we just had a sort of quick walk around. I think it was distributed to the members, was it? Or I didn't know anything about it. Jenny, like to do. no. What, what happened there was I had an I, I had an appointment over at Eatmill Bay allotments mm. that morning. So what we done was as we walked through, we just asked Nick and Kerry if they'd meet yeah. us there. Okay. And then and it was, it was an unofficial quick, meeting. It, was, it wasn't uh, nothing. It wasn't okay. an official no, meeting. No, we haven't actually called them official. It was spur of the moment thing. Yeah. But we were walking through, so. Well, I'm just so so surprised yeah. that that meeting was held without. Um, but it wasn't actually a meeting. No, it was, it was just oh, a, an on site walk around, really, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It's probably used for long term meetings. So, can I yeah. propose that we um, revisit this yeah. once we've had the official meeting? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got some ideas, so obviously we can arrange a, a proper meeting date, if that's no problem. Can, can I just ask what the purpose of the, of the meeting will be? Uh, what, what is the view? Of, what is the review of the headstones? Just you know, coming into it's the review of the. Um, it came from uh, an item on the meeting in I think it was April, uh, when we were talking about the uh, the, the policy, which uh, is about what we do when we've got unsafe headstones, and the uh, policy uh, makes some statements about what should happen. But we're not actually doing that. I mean, because one of the things is, after a certain period of time, the head, head the policy says that the headstone yeah. should be laid down. Yeah. So we were going to have a, a meeting on site because Nick, I think, has been doing some uh, uh, talking to other some councils, people, yeah, other councils, uh, and finding out a bit of information about what they do. And we were going to have an on-site meeting so that we could look at the situation as it is now. Yeah. and uh, think of some ideas going forward about either we are going to comply with our policy um, or we're going to change our policy to fit in with what we yeah. intend to do. I mean, that, that's yeah. a, those are my that's thoughts when, when, uh, when we uh, envisage having... Yeah, we've got some sort of basic advice from another council and kind of was advised to... So it's all surround different options, things. but yeah. yeah. We, we kind of, like to say, had an unofficial just walk around. It wasn't a, a set meeting. We kind of just walked about and had a discussion 
um, regarding the memorials um, and obviously it was something that we were going to come back to yourselves about and obviously arrange to all get together yeah, yeah so that's no problem there were no decisions made um, so yeah I mean we can certainly move forward and arrange a time when everybody's sort of available so we'll come back to you with some dates no problem yeah so chair could i suggest a full meeting on the i think the next one is the 7th of september that we've organized that meeting of, of all councillors that want to be involved and when we come back on the 7th we make a decision because councillor Hoskinson is absolutely right there is already reference within our policy yeah. that there is a procedure that we follow and if the if the, we can't contact uh, the members of the family um, and it's still unsafe, then we have a duty to lay that memorial stone down to make it safe. Nick's right, in consult consultation with other um, authorities, sometimes that meets with public uh, disapproval, it, you know, uh, they don't understand the rules and regs. So I think September the 7th, after the visit, we make a definitive decision of whether we're going to lay it down and comply to policy or we're going to entertain some alternative arrangements because the staff need to have, you know, uh, some parameters to work with in really. So. Can, I, can I just say, I, I, I want to put um, Councillor Hodgkin's and Harvey at like, the committee at the, when we walked over and met with Kerry and um, Nick, it was more so because they showed us, because I've, ne I've never seen the pond in there yeah. or anything, mm -hmm. so it was more that than the headstone. Yeah. We, it was touched. But there was, it was just in a passing conversation. Right. Nothing has been done behind anybody's no. back. No, 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 I'm just surprised to hear that the meeting is happening. Because it like it we wanted to see where the wildlife are. Yeah. Well, I did. I'm just mean, got I an idea. Because I've got family there. But it was, it was not a discussion no. purely on this. So if I can put your minds at rest, That's fine. Yeah. nothing yeah. has been okay. done underhand. So Kerry's back uh, from her holidays on Monday, so what I'll get Kerry to do is to circulate all councillors and those who are absent from today's meeting. So all councillors on the cemetery committee to agree a date where we can meet if they so wish to attend. Could we not have our next meeting in the cemetery, in the chapel? We've done that yeah, before. Yeah, could have an on-site. Have we? Have we, we had a we had a Well, we did with Rob, we had the meeting but, actually. In, well, because you're down there, yeah, you might so. talk. Had the meeting at the same, I think it's legal, isn't it? You don't have to. No, it's fine. Yeah. There's only issues yeah. around it. Yeah. I think the internet is obviously a... sitting next to a bar. We can oh, yeah, well, yeah, the internet, but yeah. it's a, a one-off, so, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the only issue would be if we're continuing to stream because we can't have public yeah. meetings, yeah. then that might be an issue yeah. there, but um, if we're not, if we, if we can allow the public to attend, then that. Then yeah. Sorry, we should be able to recall though and then do it later. Could it have a public thing later, could we? Well, I think it's got to be a public meeting, so we, we get around that by streaming it so it's okay. accessible by the public. So. Well, I think it's a pretty good idea. I have no objection to as much as I dislike going to some chapel. I have no objection to going there. I'm talking about a CRF because it's very rarely that we get a member of the public, but it's not. As long as we make it clear that the public can attend by, by appointment, which I think is what we're doing now. Yeah. 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 Maybe we have to, well, we will certainly have to make a, a special announcement that that's taking place at a different location. So maybe then we can stress that if people did want to attend, they've got to make that appointment yeah. and we can make sure it's totally safe. So, so yeah, so. Can I just say that's what the agenda actually says that members of the public are allowed here, but because of the COVID restrictions applying at the moment, they can only do it if they apply to the town clerk prior to the meeting. And that would be the same if we took it elsewhere, I presume. Uh, I, I am concerned on item three because I think this is um, dragging on. You know, we, we, we do have it in our policy. I think the roles put it in a few years ago, is that correct? Nick, yeah. that old yeah. policy of the Sylvia, I think it was, was it's all written right. that we would lay them flat. So I, I think yeah. the decision needs to be made yeah. quickly, just a couple of years. That's right. right. Well, well just we know where we're going. So obviously, we, we start the programme of retesting. Yeah. Um, when are you you've started that? We though, have, yeah. yeah. But thankfully, we haven't come across any issues at the moment where we are testing. I so think it's the fine. time then, it, in how long you give them once you've put that notice yeah. out. Yeah. Can anyone remember? what it was. Is it a year or six months? No, I can't remember. It was three months. I see, that's not yeah. very long if you only visit a grave. Yeah. 
special occasion. Well, well, I think I, I think what was suggested uh, certainly by David was that we have our meeting yeah. and we review that in September, yeah. so we come armed with the yeah. I'm just thinking with it, the information it's, then. It's, yeah, I don't it's know what, a long I can't time, what the time was. Yeah. So we'll put that definitely on the agenda for the seventh, and yeah. we have to have an answer by then. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah we've got to close that one down. Okay. Item four, Chair, um, is just to update you that the, uh, the funeral director has withdrawn the request, so that's now um, finished. Oh, so we, I think we skipped three, but then that's two what we were looking at. Three is oh, separate. Sorry. Separating oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's, oh, that was yeah. my fault. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Just a number. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So number three is separate so, memorial rights. Memorial rights and burial rights. I can't remember what Kerry has said on that one. Uh, I think Kerry was going to find more information and come back to yeah, it. Yeah, I think it was a further investigation required. Um, yeah, yeah, I've got on here further, further works and investigation to go forward. We might have to move that to the centre as well. I'm just yeah. Just trying to move. yeah, yeah, sorry. So we can go back to four now then. So for <laughs> the, the um, yeah, the funeral director has withdrawn the, the request, so yeah. that, that one's um, dead and finished. Um, five, the ashes wall, I think we're going to talk about that in one of the agenda items later in the meeting in terms of our priorities. So six, the Bereavement Cafe. The Bereavement Cafe we've been talking about um, to try and set up uh, for a while and then um, COVID sort of stopped those suggestions. I know Chair and Councillor Hollis were keen to, to, to implement this. We've had a, a chat within the, within the team and we feel that as soon as we can reopen the Guildhall, um, that we can dedicate some time there to um, to deliver uh, a bereavement cafe. Any votes, Jenny? Can I just say, Councillor Harvey's been involved. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> Not directly involved, but in the, you 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 said and Dennis said as well, didn't we? When we used to when we had the smaller committee, that we were interested in having this waiting room talking to people. But yeah, so it shouldn't be two names answered. It should be a committee report. So as soon as we're as soon as we're ready to reopen, which um, for these kind of activities will be mid mid August, uh, we can then start putting that into the diary. That maybe once a month or or, or whatever period we decide that we can set aside a time and date that they can come along and uh, and meet. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the reason this was moved on to this meeting was because it was brought up in the April meeting. Um, and there was very little information about it, and so uh, what was what was going to happen here was that we were going to get uh, a bit more detail about what this entailed because uh, it, it just it was just raised as having a bereavement cafe, but no one really sort of was suggesting how that would work and what would happen. So uh, that that's the reason why we we are looking at it at this meeting to receive further information. And, uh, detail about what what this bereavement cafe is, but I've, I've got no idea really what what it's about. As far as I can recall, there was a local vicar, um, whatever they you know vicar priest. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he was, but he was willing to come along. No, I, I, and a funeral director, yeah, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah. They was willing to come along, and um, you know just meet in the cafe for people that have been recently bereaved. And you know, sit and discuss things with each other because sometimes people are really lonely afterwards. So it was that sort of thing. Is is that the way, Jim? Well, what it was was we would be, <coughs> in the part in the past we were looking at maybe finding an area of the a, a, a cemetery to put a like a, a, a small building, and it would have to, it would have toilets in. I'm looking yeah. at Nick for con yeah. confirming this, and I, I think we've done it about four or five years ago. It was on the committee, so it's going back quite a while. And what it would have was have physics toilets in it and a little area where people could sit and just think over at their lost ones. Um, and that was where they could get a cup of tea and that. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I will say, we're, we're, I'm going back. I thought this was about oh, five right. years ago. Yeah. I mean, what have I been on? I've got a feeling that you're talking. Sorry. But it was a hut. Where I think it, what it was, was, it was that it was going to be attached to the work yard. So you would have, you were going to yeah. have one end, and the other end was going to be like a bereavement so centre. So you, you go to some yeah. cemeteries, especially forest cemeteries, and they have little huts all around the big forest. And you go to the nearest one to you, and you sit there, and yeah. you know, you think, especially if it's raining, you sit there. There's little cats in there. But yeah, so that, that's two different types of caps. Yeah, I was thinking of the other one. But you're right, but I think the plans ended up that we couldn't get that into the cemetery, could we? No. We couldn't um, afford that. Yeah, the, the, the funding was very short, yeah. and that's why it was sort of got on the back burner. Yeah. 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 But the other yeah. one, Dave was right, it was going to be in the guild or yeah. well, they could have arranged to meet. Oh, that was the one you're. Yeah, yeah. The one you're I, think, about, I think they did go to Riversdale for a little while, didn't they? But yeah <coughs> but it would be a dedicated time and space it might not necessarily be in the tea room because it might be that they uh, feel they want yeah. more private space so we were thinking about the guild or council chamber and and uh chair is right uh it was one of the funeral directors that were also looking to to hopefully lead on this we were going to provide the facilities we'll provide a tea or coffee and they were going to try and they're more experienced in dealing with people in, in those kind of situations we're not so it was just us trying to facilitate that kind of um so I, I think we can do that and certainly you know who knows in the future when we do get our toilets at the back of the chapel uh, you know the, the memorial garden or the uh, orchard garden or whatever we're going to call it maybe that's something we aspire to to move at the cemetery but in the interim i think you know, the idea is, do we really want to push on with it? I think it's a good idea. Mm. And we're happy to help do that. Jenny. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just thinking, if the, if the toilets are done at the side of the chapel, at the back of the chapel, then could we not open the chapel and just have, mm. so somebody could get a cup of tea and that, if they just want to sit in there? And you, uh, instead of worrying about, because I mean, our bugbear for, for a building over there has always been um, where to put it, and um, the biggest one is the finances for it. So I know the chapel's used for funerals, I know, I know that. Um, but if, when it's not booked in for, for that, then yeah. could we, and um, we get them toilets as a hurry, could we not have the chapel open yeah. and get? Like be able to serve tea and that in there for the people that are either busy I think the biggest stumbling block to, to overcome is the toilet issue. Yeah, and that's something we're going to talk toilet. about in a sec with the priorities. So as soon as we overcome that, the business about the tea, because we're not actually selling these people a tea or coffee, no. we're just trying to create an environment. There's lots of the old, you know, uh, vacuum flask pump action, so yeah. we, can, we can make it up in yeah. advance. They keep hot for five hours and people can just help themselves. Yeah. That issue, you're absolutely right, the chapel, Nick's kept it in beautiful condition, it's a lovely space, people should be using it more, it's just the toilet. When we get to that situation, from my point of view, it should be at the cemetery and not, you know, not taking up space in the guild hall necessarily, although well, I don't want to come across as, you know, being obstructive to that as an interim thing just to get it up and running, but yeah. Dave. Yeah, uh, well, we've got we've got two uh, uh, different ideas on the table here, and uh, I think both of them are good. Um, but both of them are contingent on other things happening. One is contingent on the cafe opening in Guildhall. The other one is contingent on the toilets being available at the cemetery. So, can I suggest that we just shelve this until one or other of those things happens, and then we can actually put forward definite plans uh, about what we do. Um, By not, September the seventh, if we are not open in the uh, in the guild hall, um, then I definitely I will line up, and you can all take turns and kick <laughs> me up the backside. So, um, oh, so, so, we can, we can so September we can say yeah, it's our first phase. Yeah. Let's do it in the guild hall, with an ambition to do as Jenny suggested. Do with the yeah. yeah, I would agree entirely with Jenny. I would think our Christmas thing when we had the Christmas tree. With yeah. the labels on in the chapel was absolutely brilliant. When people yeah. came in, they sat down for a little while. Mm. Yeah, and I think that, you know, I'd definitely yeah. great to see the chapel used more, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
well, this is an old one. I thought you'd have this old this years ago. <laughs> to, be, to, be off, to be honest, Brenda, again, you know, I'll, I'll line up in a sec so you can take a few bits. Well, it wasn't you, uh, this was Ross. Well, uh, and this is this is something that I, I, I did say at the last meeting. It's a simple, cheap, yeah. easy fix. Um, and we are, you know, this country rains a lot, and it has <laughs> rained. You know, funerals carry on regardless. Uh, I promise that I will, you know, we've, we've got the, the, Kerry's done the research, we've, you know, we can yeah. do them. I think we were just humming and hiring about do we have our logo on the umbrellas and things like that. I think we should do, because at least we can keep track of them. They are our umbrella. You'll find there's a logo on it. Um, but I'll make sure that we purchase a, a, a set of umbrellas yeah. for use uh, that are in the chapel. Yeah. Was we not going to get the um, funeral um, directors to sponsor them and the stone mason? To be honest, they're so cheap, I think we just need to have okay. one and do it. That's, yeah. um, I think that one idea was to get them sponsored, but if we want our logo on them, we can't. No. And if the, if the well, no, funeral directors the supply, they want their logo on them, won't they? So, yeah. so I mean, the, other, the other thing, have we got a budget for it? That's the other? Well, I mean, they're, they're really cheap, okay. so to be honest, we can we can sort that out from somewhere. The only other thing with funeral directors is what happens if it's another funeral director that comes along and it rains and they're, they're advertising yeah. the competitors. <laughs> yeah. So I think we... I think, yeah, it'd be great to have them in our logo Yeah. So, I'm, I should get that done, sorry. sorry I mean, that. I'm all for the umbrellas. I don't think you should have problems get it tacky. Peter at the funeral, it's a bit of sad occasion. Mm -hmm. You want them to be advertised. No, I wouldn't. I would just play for the umbrellas. Yeah, Chair, would you like to resolve that? <laughs> so, I'd be the proposal. Do, do, do you all agree that we buy umbrellas with the town council logo on? For the cemetery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah discreet, discreet logo. Discreet yeah. logo. Uh, and we're, we're leaving Nick in charge of the umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. Can I have a proposal in a second? I'm happy with a proposal. Thank minutes. you, David. Yeah. And Chris, thank you. That's lovely. So would we not be allowed a donation box to say umbrellas are free, mm. but if you want to be, donate some of the water to young people in the cemetery in the chapel, put it in this here box? I'm sure we can knock up a little <laughs> donation box. <laughs> Just I mean, we can use, we can yeah. use Roger's bird I box mean, to, be quite, to be quite honest with you, in respect of like the sponsorship side from the funeral directors, we are quite lucky. You know, we've we've had great support again this year for like flowers and stuff. So we have been very fortunate that they have come forward um, and provided you know quite a good display for the public, which is lovely. Yeah, so they are having an input in the cemetery. So. I think, you know, within the, the costings of the umbrellas, they'd quite reasonably cheap. Um, and it would be great, yeah, just to sort of, like I said, a little discreet logo, yeah. Yeah. Right, so we move on now to 201 stroke 21, cemetery officer's report. Okay. So basically, as I said, we are currently um, carrying out memorial testing. Um, we're currently in the older plots at the moment and touch wood we haven't had any issues of any failed ones um, which is going good um, obviously the water testing is carrying on um, the last chemical data results for this month are within the general range recorded for the monitoring period and there is no raise of concerns um, the quarterly monitoring will continue which will increase the volume of data available and provide more information as required going forward is that it? Yeah, and also again, um, as previously just mentioned, the flower barrels and plants have now been planted on site, and again, this was made possible through the kind donation of the funeral directors. Could I ask you, do, has the, the pond been sorted? No, it's on the on the list to do. I'm working with our um, conservation officer, so we'll certainly look into that. Yeah, um, one of the issues with the pond at the moment is we've got like a natural edging. Um, and we were thinking whether we sort of go away from like the natural grass edge and, and maybe have some slabs around the palm, um, depending on like if the committee was in agreement. Um, we're kind of thinking with the strimming and the grass cut and a lot of clippings go in and then cause the, the water to go green. Um, so it was just sort of one of the, the things that we were sort of possibly thinking about changing with the design layout. Yeah. Yeah, basically all the dirt from the grass was falling into the pond, so sure. the pond wasn't clear at all. No. You know, I know a wildlife yeah. pond is never clear, clear, yeah. and the little solar thing wasn't enough to keep it no, clean. No, it wasn't enough to keep it clear, and then that was in the on growing season, really. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense to have the edges round up. 
Would that, would that resolve the issue? I think that would take some of the yeah, the issues away of so obviously the clip. It would be quite so close to the mile, wouldn't they? No, that's why there'd be that little bit of a space. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea yeah. to me. Yeah. yeah, we'll definitely go for we, we could have a look at that one. Go, go yeah, we'll have, yeah. yeah. have a look yeah. and have a walk about and see. Yeah, the yeah. other part I want you to look at yeah. is, um, I'm, I'm trying to think, uh, where um, the new memorial is to the soldiers on that bit of green there, on that. Yeah outside the chapel. As you start to walk round, um, we thought we was walking through a hayfield because the grass is up here. Now I know I know we said we was gonna only cut um, leave a little bit, but it seemed to have been right over to that far wall, that grass. And I'm thinking that looks so disrespectful. It looked you know when when you uh, when you look on on, on the internet and people are moaning about uh, all these old stones are covered in long grass, not not cared for, because people do go over and look at them old stones, don't they? We've seen them, haven't we? And, and they go around and they view them, but they can't because of this long grass. You know, I, I just think we went too far with the wildlife bit. But we'll have a look when we go down there and you can see what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, can I just ask about, I mean, uh, if we're going to put this paved edging round, have we got paving or is it? There is some slabs here yeah, that we can utilise, yeah, so there'll be sort of minimal costs, yeah, I mean, just basically being cement, really. Uh, wow. We've got the slabs, so, so that's and the staff the labour, yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah the budget's a... Yeah, the budget's a... That's fine. Where's the money coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave, but I've got Chris and then Jenny. Well, I've just a question with the pond. I tried to speak to Mark about this and completely forgot. Do we have a way for hedgehogs to get up? Yeah, yeah. Mark, Mark did make a provision in the pond um, at one end where the, where they can get out. Yeah, that was all taken into account. Is there yeah. go swimming then? Well, they, they go for a drink and fall yeah. in the grass. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's that, and going to the grass. I mean, it, there's a trial thing to have a look at different areas. Yeah, I'll keep doing so. Look I mean, it's not. We can go in and stuff. We can move yeah. things about. Um, Jenny. <laughs> no, it's all right. I've got. I've, I've just put in. Easy done. <laughs> so, a anything else? No, that's all for so me. Just, just yeah. from Kerry, Chair. Uh, Kerry's uh, burial figures, she's just, um, just put a, a paragraph here to say that we've had uh, to date a, a total of 42 internment, 17 were ashes, 25 were burials, and of those 25 burials, 12 were in the older section and 13 in the, in the cemetery extension area. Um, March and June have been the busiest month so far with 18 internments over both months and May has been the quietest month with only three. Um, so they're, they're the figures today. It's good to hear people are going green with the temperature with the um, remains, isn't it? Yeah. So that leads us quite nicely on to the next subject. The other reason I want to move, uh, um, go down the cemetery with Jenny is because um, for the last, I think it's four or five years, I've been on and on about um, a sanctum. I've called them column bearings because that's the way it's uh, put on the one set. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know if some of the committee remember, but the idea was was when you walk up to the, the gate, the, the big gates at the back of the cemetery, so you're going into the new bit of the cemetery, we was going to have uh, a little garden there. But on review, because we hadn't seen, and that's another reason why we met Nick, Nick down there, we hadn't seen the little peace garden that you've put in there. So we actually liked that, and we thought actually we could put Sanctum in there. And uh, Nick, I phoned Nick up and I said, can you look at some? Um, so he went out and he investigated, he, he brought some with him. With, with Kerry, and he's managed to find some. Now, I can't remember how many, was it 48 or 45? For the amount of set of ashes. Yeah. Um, so the one of the Sanctum Panorama, um, which is sort of visually pictured on the big one, and you'll see the pond nearby, so they've kind of used the same sort of idea with a memorial garden. That will give you a maximum of 96 urns in that one unit. So each individual unit, you can get a maximum of three sets of ashes in each compartment. Um, 
So that's, that's one that will give you that option. The second option is one that potentially we could look at later on as another idea, um, again, if the committee was happy. Um, and that's a, a sort of a tablet plaque option. We did speak potentially about doing this idea where people could sort of just purchase a plaque in memory of somebody. Although they didn't want to inter the ashes, they could just put the plaque on there to remember their loved one. So there's a couple of ideas there um, that the company's come back to me with. Um, and again, it sort of potentially fits in with like a, a little memorial garden, if you like, and that's basically what we've got um, in that area. So, so basically, oh, sorry. <laughs> Did we decide discuss the idea of having a wall as well instead? Did we get any quotes for price of a low wall? There is the idea of still going along with a wall. Um, he, he came back to me and said basically this is a, a preferred option with most councils and they tend to go for these ideas within a garden setting. Um, but you can obviously lay out and design with the wall. Um, but that'd be again going back to um, the company and getting some of the outcaps okay. to come and give us an idea and maybe on site a meeting again if we can not invite them along when we're up there. Yeah. So just my biggest these two look like solar water features. Yeah. Well they they would they could go on uh, yeah. an, an entrance way. It, yeah. it, it, there's all different ideas for them. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, but the, the 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 big one what going forward as we said we've had set seventeen crematoriums this week, yeah. uh, this month. So, you know, that's 17 of them where you might have sold rather than digging up land. Because you, um, these old little bouquet flowers, because we made sure that didn't be mixed. Yeah, that, that yeah they you said have we have vases on So, you, you know, they, they can have that up there. Basically, there is, uh, the, the, the way that it works is there is so much they can have on their stonework because that old free, uh, that holds free air. So they can have so, so much writing and then a anything over the top of that, then they have to pay. So if they wanted butterflies or something like that, on, on, engraved on it, you know. And I just think that looks so nice. Mm -hmm. and, and it saves the land because every time we put them, I, s I see poor old people, they go over there and they've, you know, they've done the right thing, they've cremated and the poor devils are sitting on the floor and you're thinking <laughs> actually they could go there, put their flowers and then sit on our, in our lovely little garden. Dave? Yeah, I, I think it's a good idea to perhaps think about putting something in that area. Um, I think you've sort of half answered one of the questions I was going to ask, but uh, this um, 32 volt circular memorial, you put, and you have three urns in each one, so it's not envisaged that um, different people would share a vault, it would be like a family yeah, vault, a family thing, and, yeah. and you can put up to three urns there. So that, that that would work quite well. But I think originally the idea, of, or one of the reasons, was that it would actually up the amount of cremation that we can do. So I think at the moment in COVID, we haven't got a limit on cremation. We went unlimited, yeah. Uh, been when been that's finished, we'll go back to a limit. To go back so to it, gives us, and it also gives, as you're saying, it gives people. Um, uh, different options, you know, they could have a plot or they could have this, but yeah. it ultimately does help uh, us to preserve the places in the cemetery. The, um, I'm not so keen on the tablet Barbican, although that's perhaps something else we could consider as, as well as this, because it, the tablets wouldn't actually increase the amount of uh, internment we could have. Yeah, I, I think that was more for um, if you've had a stillbirth, you don't always. Yeah, no, if so you get that. Yeah, or so. if your parents live in London yeah. and you want a memorial, you know. Yeah. So it, but it, it was that sort of idea. I think they do outside like Norwich City, don't they? They've sold stones in the wall oh, as yeah, you go to Norwich yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and uh, I'll just look, okay, so it's six, compact six foot diameter, is that not? It's not going to take up a massive amount of space, no, although there's probably some paving he, around it. This is one of the things that the chap said, that these are mainly preferred by a lot of cemeteries now, because like you say, the ground, obviously, you know, factor, yeah. they don't take up a lot yeah. of space. So although they do look kind of, like you say, a, a standard sort of thing, um, they do, you know, take up very less space than what you would if you set out a complete little sanctum wall 
area. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so that's one of the preferred options. So this price for 10,240 is for one of these six foot ones, is it? So basically the 10,240 is for the Sanctum Panorama, um, yeah. which allows the three sets of ashes in each individual um, Sanctum. Um, there will be a little sort of extra cost to that. That is to supply it and also fit it. But prior to them doing that, that we have to set out the base for it to go on. So we would obviously just have a incur a cost to obviously set out a concrete yeah. base with the measurements well, that they provide. Memory, when we got prices from that guy who went mad and gave us a hole, we completely <laughs> yeah. But the actual cost for the foundation was quite expensive they because was. there's quite a lot of weight in there. So yeah, uh, it would be good to get a price for the. Uh, for the um, well, the, well, the installation is included, as you say, but yeah. the price for the groundwork and yeah. the foundation. I've got a feeling that's going to be quite a chunk on top yeah. from what the other guys are saying. Jenny, <laughs> the, the thing with the memorial wall that we looked at, and and it would be the same for these, is the fact that people can pre-buy these, okay. which generates obviously yeah. generates back <coughs> into. The, the incoming to the cemetery to do another other work, whereas you can't pre-buy a plot that was ruled out a long time ago yeah. now, isn't it? Really? Um, so that was the advantage of having these is, is that people can buy one of these one of these mm. areas and have it pre uh, uh, pre-purchased, and so you can't the plot anymore, and that's what people would. The income from that would literally come back in, so it's regenerating. Um, the plaque one, which I think we looked at years ago, and that was a good yeah. as well, wasn't it? Yeah. And I think, the, I mean, these look a lot nicer than the wall, I have to be honest. Um, but that was, like Brenda said, it, it, it's basically, it was to let people put plaques on, but then again, that would be income generating back into the cemeteries to to work on so basically it was it was doing something somebody had the, it was giving people the choice on the burials mm -hmm. either in the ground or the thing as you so rightly said um but can be pre-bought and the plaques was you know aren't, aren't a neighbor when brentwood's dying and yeah, yeah. i can't get down there so i'm gonna put all or something you know something like that so it was it was two angles to it one to, for people to have somewhere to go and two Regenerating income into the into the committee. Yeah. I think going forward, do, do you all agree with the Sanctum pan, 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 panorama? Panorama. Yeah. 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 Well, can I can I just say that it would be useful to me, and I think probably the rest of the committee, if we had a, a full costing of yeah. the purchase, installation, groundwork. And if we, are we planning to put some seating in the area as well? We've got a couple of seats that we've yeah. used, what we had stored, um, but I mean, we can change those to blend in with something like this yeah. if we wanted to add so something to keep it. We have a full costing of the whole project, yeah. and also a costing of the return we would get when these are, uh, well, well I'm, not, I'm not sure if we've got price that we've got yeah. on what, what the, uh, the vaults would be. Because well, Jenny was talking about you know, re paying for itself really, and then and then we can make, perhaps move on to another one. But we, I think it'd be really good to have a costing of how much it's going to cost for these vaults for us to get the money back. If that's what we're intending, are we intending to get the full purchase price back, or is this something that we're going to only expect to get a partial return on? So it'd be good to have some sort of costings that illustrate that. So, right. well, in answer to your question, yes, I do like yeah. the same thing. Well, I, I just <laughs> basically wanted to know if that one's okay, and, and, and then you start looking at the pricing. Because within the pricing, as you said, we need to know what we're going to sell each one for. Yeah. Is it that if I buy one today, put my husband's ashes in it, <laughs> <Bit naughty. laughs> <Same -ish>. <laughs> <laughs> put my husband's ashes in it, and then when I go, my son has to pay to put my ashes in the same yeah. one, you know, or have I bought the whole thing? And I think that's the way that you need to start thinking of is if there's three lots of ashes, do we charge more? To somebody that's only got one lot of ashes.
well, that don't make sense. But I, 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 I think we need to start looking now at what would we sell each one for, and how much writing would we put because that's got to go in with the costs. Because I think they do that for you, don't they? Yeah. That, they yeah. do the basic writing. So what is the basic writing? You know, so so rest in peace. Da, da, da. Um, so all them costs need to be uh, yeah. c coming back now. Uh, but uh, the, the the main thing is that we we start looking at it because we can't go to finance and ask for money if we haven't got everything written down. So this is what we got. With this, this is what we were selling for. This is what we can get. What term will it have? Well, you know, I'm saying 50 years because that's the same as the, the graves. Keep it for 50 years. So in 50 years, if they're still there, then they have to repay it again. Mm -hmm. You know, you might do it on five years after that, but the first time I do 50, uh, 15, then you can do five years and, and then you can reuse them in 100 years. <laughs> but Jenny? So basically, you said what I was going to say. I know I was going to agree with David that. That's where we need to know what the whole lot is yeah. before, we start, before we can start charging people. And I think that it's a bit like um, if it, 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 in, a, in a grave, you turn around and if you've got a double plot, then it costs again to open that plot. So if you're looking at this enough of a family of three in there, if that's what you wish, then you've got to look at every time you open that door because obviously we, the council would have to keep the key. <laughs> you can't let any, no. anybody have the key. Um, so every time that door is open for the ashes to, there's got to be a small charge onto that. So that's where I, I you know, yeah, that's why we need it. So if we turn around and say you can right. pre-buy that box yeah. with the three spaces for, it won't be, but this is just a, an example of it happens. Yeah. For, for 50 years, I mean, I think they go like that at that price, but we know, that, you know, that is just an example. Then I, I think they would get taken up, but as you say, a charge has got to come in on it, everything's got to be worked out before the price can be done. And also, every time that door's opened, then there has to be a charge. And yeah, because every time we right. put another one on, we've got more right in the day. Can I just ask, because part of this agenda item is to is to is to agree the kind of things that we're talking about, but also in September it is round one of budget setting, and I know budget setting setting goes over three months, September, October, November. So could I ask when councillors are invited to go uh, to the meeting to talk about the memorial? Um, the memorials. Could we also use that time mm -hmm. to look at the space? Yeah. Uh, Councillors yeah. seem to agree that the panorama is something, but can we look at the space and say, well, that's where we'd like it. If we can make this cost effective, that's where the second one could go. And that's where the third one could go. So we've got a plan. We've got a, yeah. an ongoing plan, and that gives me an opportunity to potentially, for uh, as Dave has suggested have a more feasible budget cost, yeah. costed plan going forward for September, because otherwise we're just going to lose a month, yeah. aren't we? Um, and we do need to investigate, you know, it's not, we need all, all the costs, you know, the groundwork, et cetera, but it gives us another, it gives me <coughs> another, you know, few weeks to put this together and present it before we come to September um, to see whether it's a viable option. Can I also just uh, say, in a conversation, and I'm not going to mention the councillor, but we also do need, we also do need to put together the terms and conditions because this particular councillor, and he's not on this committee, by the way, um, and I'll, I'll give it away because it's a he, um, so I'm not very discreet at all, am I? Um, but uh, but there, there is this going to be like a family vault? Because their impression was that you know, if Great Granny dies, she's in there. If, if I die, I'm in there. If my wife dies, she's in there. And then when my son dies, eventually, we can ditch great granny and stick me in there. <laughs> uh, so is it, is it the family, it, you know, and I'm thinking, well, it's serious. Uh, yeah, it's serious money saving going on there. But I mean, so we do need to, we do need to think, is this what we want and what are the terms? Well, that's the second phase of it. Yeah. The first phase is to see whether it's cost viable 
and whether we can return that cost so we can put in another one and another one because environmentally it's obviously a great it, and, and it's it a great balance nice, as well. It saves all that bending and that, that's why we, we went for the flower one. I mean, I, these are in use in other places, so we could ask other cemeteries what yep. their costing structure yep. is and whether they have any of these issues of great granny getting right. chucked out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is when Ros was um, clerk in this meeting, I, I've looked at some of her, her past um, ideas and there was one structured around a, a pergola. So again, if you're going to look at this garden space where we have a pergola where someone, you know, some benches and people just go and reflect and have some time out. But the back of this pergola would be sort of um, would be blocked in that we could also put these plants on the back yeah. again you know we don't want to get too uh, well we do really because we need to generate some income yeah. to reinvest in the space to improve it all the time so there are other options to look at and i think that's quite that was quite the, the cost i saw of roses it was a reasonable cost for a pergola and it you know so there's another option that we can look at yeah that sounds good Jenny, I, I, I must be, they, yeah, it was from the, when the old lad I looked at that, it, it was good. I still like to think that, you know, a pergola stuck in, in there. Mm -hmm. I don't think a pergola would go in there, but it's not saying I think this is, I think, I think this looks nicer, I think they would look nicer. And okay. just say, you've got the generation, the, 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 the income that you're generating as well will go to either, mm. to go, well, you could turn around and say, right, we sold them for X amount each class. Um, yeah. well, I think David was suggesting as a, an alternative, but as, as I yeah. said, yeah. another option. option. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. If you're going to put seating in there, put it in a, a nicer environment, and maybe, you know, it's shielded yeah. from the rain. I think that's what happened when we went to Berry, wasn't it? Yeah. We went to yeah. Berry. So Dennis, come with you. didn't come with us, did you, Chris? Chris. No. Uh, Dennis, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when we when we have the meeting, can we really have a good look at and, and plan what we want that garden area to look like, think, yeah. so we can really yeah. move some of these priorities forward. Yeah, we'll get some standard roses because we've got them in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you suck them over the <laughs> And then budget-wise, Chair, the second part of this is the cemetery chapel toilets. That's certainly, listening to everybody's remarks, that's definitely a priority that we want to continue with. And again, we need to get that on the budget plan for next year. Yeah, and I think, um, Obviously, we've got t two priorities here, but which is um, which is our top priority? Be 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 because the ashes in the sanctuary has been going on for years. I know that we've always wanted to try it, but that can come up till a few years after that. But you know, what is our top priority? Because if we've got the ashes sanctum, they're bringing the money in. The toilet's well, not going to be bringing money in. Could I suggest I our just, biggest priority, in my opinion? You, you're the guys who make the decisions, is the cemetery chapel toilet. Yeah. Simply because that is pure investment to improve the facilities. No. You're not going to get a return. We're not going to charge, you know, no. X amount to get in to use the toilet. We're not that hard-nosed. The, the ashes sanctum, we've already discussed, it's all about business planning. Can we get the return over a period of time? So the investment we're asking for is interim because we'll get the return over time and potentially to invest in another one. So in terms of budgetary priorities, the chapel toilets is our number one investment. The other is to present a business plan to say that we need the money at this moment in time, but it will be returned over a period of X. Yeah. So I think, you know, so we've got, no we've got no money for the toilets. I have, I'll have to go and speak to the finance manager because I, I, I am coming up with these kind of questions in all the committees that I clerk. We've consolidated our reserves. There was a bit of a barney in, in the heritage and town events because we've always traditionally had ring fenced reserves and I think they've all been consolidated. So I need to know what is going to be attributed to the cemeteries. Dave. Yeah, the, the toilet thing was, um, we were, we were um, well advanced on that, it went out to tender, and tender, we, accept, we sort of half accepted the tender, although there was some contention about that, I remember. Um, but there was money allocated for the toilets, but not enough to complete. So we were looking for an additional sum there. So, and I've got some figures that were agreed, and Adam agreed them, because I've got an email to say that. 
so I can send you that email. So um, I, which, which, I mean, basically, it was uh, it was when we were presenting it full council. I think they had to do it three times before it went through. And uh, in that, in the course of that, I sent an email to Tina and, and Alan, and it was agreed that these were the monies that yep. were set apart in reserves. Now. If that's changed in reserves, I'd be very disappointed. Well, I, I, think uh, everybody I, I can tell you what the situation was at that time. Yeah. And, uh, and as far as I'm concerned, that was agreed. Yeah. Uh, um, agreed so I, I think yeah. I think you're right. I think we, we, you had two priorities, from my understanding. One was the workshop that we discussed. Yeah. And you did have the money, and we are so moving forward with that. Yeah. The other is you, you're quite right. You say it was we didn't quite have enough. Yeah. So what we need to do that should be, and it better be. Ring <laughs> What we need to do is to go back and revisit those costs to make sure they've not changed at all and, and, and ask for the other part of it to make that happen Just if we say that that is our, one of our top priorities, which I think yeah. you know you all are intimating that. Um, I think we should press forward with both of them. Yeah. One, one, yeah. Yeah. one as an investment and one as a But I think, the reason, we, plan, I think the reason why as councillors you couldn't, you couldn't request for that additional fund at the time is because as you know, last year we were trying to keep the preset down, so we all had to make the savings. So, um, so I think we're in a new budget setting realm now. So I think if you're all happy to go with the ch chapel toilets as one of our priorities, then we should present a strong case to get the additional sums. Well, at this moment, can yeah. I just ask, Chair? My my mental map and arithmetic's not very good, but but on the panorama one. You'd have to charge about three hundred pounds for the for, the, for, for each. The, no, three hundred and thirty. It's it's one hundred and ten pounds for each. So it's a three hundred and thirty pound for each space. I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I don't understand. But if you yeah. only get one person who wants to buy. Well, it, this is the thing. You, you know, to be honest, it, for me, if I if I was to say right, I want to buy one for you know my wife and I. Yes. I've got two kids, so one's going to lose out, and actually they go off and get married, and have families of their own, but. If if um, if I buy it, I have got. If that's the sum we set, say it's just cost three hundred thirty quid, I've got to buy that space, knowing that potentially I'm gonna, only going to have two in there rather yeah. than the three. I've got the potential for three, but I may not use it. How much would you pay? Personally, well, I'm a. No, no, not me. I'm going with Jenny's. I, 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 was, I was always told that. When I first joined the council, I was told just because I volunteered for the cemetery six years ago, I was, I was told by a councillor at that time, just because you're going on the cemetery commission, uh, committee, it doesn't mean to say you're going to a free thing. <laughs> don't worry, I'm all right, I've got mine. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, sh I'm not sure. How much do you, do you reckon it would be? Well, you'd at have the to moment. charge £300. Well, I would, I would pay £500 yeah. for 50 years. Right. Right, for one no one problem. One. For, 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 the, for the three. Yeah, you've got to have the three. The three. Well, you pay for one box. You're, you're paying for one box that you can get three in. Yes. And you would be prepared to pay but 500 pounds. Well, yeah. And in that case, that more than covers the cost. And if we can use that kind of business model, then we're going to get a return on, on installing that mm. panorama because I think you need the additional sums of money for the ground works because it's going to be more than yeah. 10,243. I don't think people have had problems. Would you? Five hundred pounds. Well, I, I think when you think of a funeral, the funeral is going to cost three thousand yeah. pounds. Well, mine's only cost me one thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. So well, I'm going to yeah, shoot yeah. off, and then they're going to bring me back to the other one, and they can stick me in the box. Well, the council can. <coughs> that's it. You, you know, that's why people are going there. There'll be an additional cost yeah, for uh, the extra internals when they're just like there are in the grave. And, uh, in, I I, yeah. I think that is where you could make the money. Yeah. You, you could say, right, uh, look, um, she's bought this for her and her husband, but um, it's £500 she's bought the box, so first you talk to her, man, and then you say, so uh, say I go in now, you might charge me, I don't know, £100 for the door, and, and what is mm -hmm. it? It's according to what the engraving, I think it's that engraving that we need to look at. But, but the engraving is, uh, uh, um, I mean, it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying it. A stone, isn't it? Mm. So it's yeah, going to yeah. be a, a, a what better they, deal, isn't it? To have I, I don't know whether this is the man that actually does it, but when we was going with that yeah. one from Berry, he said what they said is they they 
they do the doors on your behalf. This is what you pay, and if someone comes along and wants it more put on, then they have to pay so yeah. much per. So per you're letter. prepaid for a certain amount of work. Yeah. I think when the guy came down and visited, he said you basically take the door off or yeah, you take and, the door and, off and, and then send it away, and then they bring send yeah. it back, and you put something. In. Yeah. But I think that's what these cost, and we need all, all that to put in. Yeah, yeah but it's I know it's a lot of work, isn't right. it? Yeah. You have to get carried on the job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the salesmen will have uh, some, <laughs> some uh, costings of that, of what they're going to charge, and uh, that's how the yeah. cemetery can be added. Anyway, to back to the priorities. Great. We have two. Is there anybody that's got any dying need for any more? I don't believe that we should have loads because we never get them done. Are you satisfied with the two, Jenny? I think because they're quite big, big ones. I think you need we need to concentrate on on them on the two. two. You know the toilets because once the toilets are done, chap can use the people to go in us. after there's a funeral. Yeah. Um, or when they've been visiting, whatever. So the toilets and the these, I think, both because this is a generator and the toilets are also something beneficial to the resident. All agreed? Yep. Two priorities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, if you can resolve it as, a, as our priorities, yeah. 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 You can resolve so it as our just priorities. Just a couple of the uh, proposals. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Might want to come again. Okay. <laughs> right, 203 21 to update any information since the agenda was released. No. Nothing. No. <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. uh, community engagement to discuss and agree any consultation on media release required. Anybody got any media releases? It, it's, it's probably not something that a, a media release, well, I'm, I'm not preempting but Can I just say that we've had a few complaints recently about things going missing off graves and things like that. And we, you know, we are trying to address that, those, but it's very difficult because of the way the site is located and we do need to try and go, well, I know Kerry has gone back to the certain individuals and um, and try to explain it's difficult to police it. I was talking to Mark Webster and Nick Dixon from the BFER who, who work more in a, an open space wildlife environment and there are these cameras that you can get that take sort of pictures every you know, few mm -hmm. seconds, minutes, to get some kind of understanding of who is doing this or, or, or how much of, you know, how many people are in the environment. The problem is, I asked Nick, usually they're, they're, they're strapped to trees quite high up, they're in these safety security boxes so people can't tamper with them and things, but we have very few trees up there and so we can't move them around. So I'm just wondering, um, is there an option uh, to look at actually installing a pole? Can we put something in an area up there from time to time to move it around and just trying to get an understanding of who uses and what people are doing and is there a flow of kids through it or young people that are not up there to pay their respects and you know, and whilst they're, we, we don't have a greater understanding of what's going on, I don't think, and we do need to know what's going on to answer these people's concerns, because I, I have a lot of sympathy with it, it's, it's very, it's a very emotive subject, really. Is there a lot of, um, there, 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 there is, yeah. unfortunately, Chair, it's getting more and more regular with people coming back, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got, um, yeah. I was going to say, because we don't do it for one or two, but if you say it's, it's a regular, a, I mean, I, I've seen a couple on Facebook, but I don't yeah. jump because there's a couple. No, there's been a few, um, there is. Chris. Yeah, there's been a post on Facebook this morning to say some people have had their urns and that damaged by a scrimmage, etc. <coughs> okay. So they are going to get in touch with the council. But regarding the, the, the cameras, I mean, when you come in the top gate, Thomas and Road in. Yeah. You've got those huge great pine trees yeah. along there. There's no reason why you can't have a and then because we've been we managed to put bird bird boxes up and things up on the trees, so you could put one up. Yeah. You could put something to show people coming but in. But I, I don't think, you know, they're not gonna they're not gonna be powerful enough to zoom in and pick up, but you're just gonna get an understanding of what people are doing it and when they tend to come in and, and is there a problem? Or is it squirrels or something like that, you know, that we have to say, well we can't control that. 
The, the, the cameras, and they apparently are a good quality cameras, Nick Dixon, is, is, they're around about 60 quid. So, you know, they're not overly expensive. And again, it may be that we utilise them around the other sites from time to time to try and track certain things. Um, so, I don't, I don't know what, whether that's something that we can look at. We could do a deal with allotments for sharers. Could, could we not put a dummy sign on the top gate as well, saying this area is CCTV? But just put a yellow sign up. Or, ca or ca yeah, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a sign. Just sit there while the public meet. <laughs> 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 Jenny. <laughs> yeah, sadly, this, sadly, that's been going on for years. I mean, I've bought artificial, nice artificial flowers on. On, on the grave over there, and I went over one day and they'd gone. And I thought, why would you take them? You yeah. know, but it's getting the babies and things like that. And yeah. I think that's quite upsetting to anybody. Yes. You shouldn't and, have these. Things. And it's also, you know, unfortunately, you know, Nick's up there more often, yeah. so he's the he's the he's the one that's, getting, the one that's face getting the face to face yeah, comments. That's right. There's been people in to reception, and you know. Both of them are very good at dealing with people, yeah. both Nick and Kerry, but it's yeah. not a nice thing to... It's not, it's not. And, it's the, and, and the answer to them is, what they don't want to hear is us to say, I'm sorry, but there's not much we can do about it. No, it's sad, sadly, it's people's mentality or lack of it that are yeah. going in doing yeah. that. I mean, it's, just, it's a disgusting thing to do. But I agree with Chris. If we could get on them trees at the back, that would place there, as you say, I know they're not very strong, but you'll get the movement yeah. in. And then maybe even if you've got some for the old side, yeah. and then some for the new side. Yeah. Just move them around. And then time if we've done that, then we're covering the new side and the old side, and then yeah. we just move them around to get the other side. But it seems it's more the top end, isn't it? Yeah. From what I can yeah, gather. It is. It's, a, it's, it's the top end the and the newer side. The, yeah. the, the old side at the bottom. So really, it's that top end for the yeah. game. Um, okay. That we need them. Well, I'll try and I'll try and badger our finance manager to uh, purchase. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just uh, um, I, I th the, the sorts of cameras you're talking about, I think, are wildlife, wildlife yeah. cameras, yeah. and they generally, I think, work fairly close. So they put you, you can, you'd be looking at animals, and you'd be sort of putting them on where the animal where the plant. Oh. So putting them up a tree and from a long distance from that, you, you may not get very good results. Um, the other thing I was going to say was I've got a feeling that Breckland might be using this sort of covert cameras for fly tipping. Oh, right, okay. So it might be worth asking Breckland if they've got any experience. Yeah. Mm. And the other thing which um, Chris mentioned about putting a, a sign up, uh, you may, you, you want to check out what the yeah, list Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know in certain circumstances you have to, um, if you're using uh, camera footage for crime prevention reasons, then you have to register with the uh, information officer. Uh, I'll ask Brad so, what, what yeah. you know whether they're but using. Yeah, or, I, mean, I mean, they're getting some, you know, they're yeah. getting some good, re you know, yeah. returns on yeah. the fly tip and stuff. So if they're using these cameras to monitor that, then, then maybe we can. It's just something I think we just need to look into. I, th I think that'd be another thing. For you, Nick, I'm sorry to say, look where you can <laughs> put poles if you can't use a tree without <coughs> damaging, you know, without making yeah. it awful down there. Yeah, down there. Yeah, lots of the street, you've got lots of the street. Yeah. Because we haven't got no street lights in there. Yeah, yeah, they do. They, yeah. 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 So you can move them around quite, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. Can I just mention another thing? That I, uh, uh, just the fact that we're talking about this now under this agenda item. Uh, we normally have correspondence on the agenda, don't we? Yeah, yeah but Kelly's not here. Yeah, no, but we, I mean, this sort of stuff would normally come up under that. So, that, yeah. so um, yeah, this is something that Ros introduced into the agenda meeting. I mean, is it? I must admit, Kerry is not here, so we didn't put that off. Yeah. But is that something everybody would like to see back on the agenda? Yeah, it's just um, complaints. Oh. complaints. Yeah, yeah, it's one of complaints and yeah. all correspondence. Yeah. As a standard. Yeah, so we know where what we're doing good and what we're doing bad. Thank you, Jenny. There was a there was a, a communicate. No, rewind. Shut up, then. No, sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong committee. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say there was a, a letter of feedback, but it's not this committee. It's another committee. Right. Thank you all very much. Um, I think that the meeting has now 